My name is David Monsolino, I am a software engineer at Cyberbotics and today I will explain you how to set up a ROS simulation in WeBots. I will assume that you have already ROS and WeBots installed on your computer. So first I will start by creating the Catkin workspace as explained in the ROS documentation. If you have already a Catkin workspace, you can skip this step. So, as you can see, the Catkin workspace folder has been created, and now we will need to copy the WeBot ROS package inside the workspace. So, for this, go inside your WeBot installation directory, go inside the project, language, ROS, and you can see the WeBot ROS package here. You will need to copy it and pass it in the Catkin workspace. As you can see, the WeBot ROS package already contains the package definition, the CMake list, and the source file of the nodes. But there is no services and messages definition. We will also need to copy them from the WeBot installation directory. So for this, Go inside Project, Defaults, Controllers, ROS, Include, and you can see the Message and Service folder. You can also copy them and pass them inside the WeBot ROS package. Now the WeBot ROS package is set inside the Catkin workspace, so we can launch the compilation. Once the compilation is over, you can uh, start Roscore. And now the second step is to start Webonds. Once Webot is started, you can open one of the simple world of ROS. So for this, go inside the language and ROS. As you can see, there is several examples, but we will take the Pioneer 380. This world is consists of one small pioneer robot inside a fairly complex world. Um, the pioneer robot is a simple four wheels robot uh, and on top of which we added a small uh, sick laser scanner. So now we can start the simulation by pressing the play button. And as you can see, the controller of the Pioneer should connect to the ROS master. But the robot is not moving, he's not doing anything. So now we need to launch uh, the ROS node.
So now, as you can see, uh, the robot starts moving and he will use the sick laser scanner to avoid obstacle. But we can also use the sick laser scanner to perform SLAM using the G mapping uh, packages of ROS. Here we start the slam, but we don't see anything. So we are going to use the RQT packages in order to visualize everything. So now we have the RQT package and we are going to insert a Airviz plugin. Here in the Airviz, you can directly see in red the output of the SICK laser scanner and you can also see uh, the current state of the map created. We have also added a small camera on top of the robot and thanks to RQT we can also visualize the image of the camera in real time, as you can see here. You can also use RQT to see, uh, for example, the output of the accelerometer, uh, uh, the IMU, or any sensors that is available on the robot. So now we will let the simulation run and we will wait a bit uh, that uh, the map is created. As you can see, uh, when the robot moves, he will uh, map more area of uh, the environment. Okay, that's all for today. Um, if you try to run this uh, tutorial, you will see that there are also several other examples distributed with Webots uh, for um, interfacing uh, Webots and Rust. And I hope you will try also them. And if you have any question regarding this video screencast or more in more general the interface between Rust and Webots please send us a mail at support at cyberbotics.com and we will be happy to help you.